All right, hey there, fellow coders, and welcome to this next lesson where we're going to be diving into the creation of the GitHub repository. So um, we've got our, our domain set up, we've got our, our, our um, you know, data, our entities mapped out, our database models sort of mapped out. So now we need to go ahead and, and create uh, the entities. That's usually where I like to start, is I create the entities first, which creates the database tables, which then we can go forward and create controllers and so on and so forth. But um, before we can do anything, I like to, I need to create a repository. Most of the times when I do this, I do this behind the scenes, but I realized and a lot of people ask, hey, can you do some sort of a GitHub um, tutorial? So I'm gonna weave a little bit of a GitHub tutorial into this uh, lesson or this this series of lessons. Uh, now I say GitHub, so the, pr the, pr the actual product is called Git. Git is the um, the technology that allows you to do um, source control, allows you to check your files into the the, the cloud into the web and, and store it there and, and actually have version control. So you can have multiple people working on the same project at the same time and you can catch, uh, you know, merging issues and, and so on, you know, all that good stuff. So now GitHub is what we're looking at right now on the screen. Uh, GitHub allows you to essentially uh, leverage the Git technology and actually store repositories and and you know, make your life a lot easier. So uh, I use GitHub and um, and yeah, so this is what it looks like. I've logged in, I've created an account and logged in. You can create an account for free. So if you haven't done so, I'd recommend that you do that if you wanna be following along with my code and being able to easily download it and, and use it on your own computer. Uh, you can set them for free and you can also, uh, you can create repositories for free. So you can create projects for free. Uh, the only downside is they have to be public repositories. So if you ever wanted to create your own um, private application that you don't want to have shared with the entire world, well, then you need to pay for an account. Um, so I do have a paid account, but I'm going to be creating this repository for free for everyone to uh, check out and, uh, and, well, clone is the term that they use. So I'm going to go ahead and click on new repository and I'm going to give it a name. So I'll call it fresh votes and I'm going to make it public. Uh, like I said, if, if you, I can do private, uh, but you won't be able to do private if you don't have a paid account. So I'll do public and I'm going to say initialize this repository with a readme file. Uh, this just, you know, creates the initial structure for uh, the repository, which is nice. And uh, you can actually add a license as well. I probably should add some sort of a license to it. Um, I've actually never done that yet. Um, Probably, anyway, I'm gonna to need to read up on different licenses and stuff. They might even have, a, here you go, a choose an open source license. Uh, here we go, I need to work, uh, I need to work in a community. I want it simple and permissive. I care about sharing improvements. So we'll, I'll dive into that at some point and, and break it down and figure out what makes sense. Uh, but I'm just for now gonna say create a repository because I'm sure you can add a license later. So I'll say create repository. And then all it does is it creates uh, a repository with a readme file that just says fresh votes and allows me to clone uh, via the, um, the link, right? So you click on clone or download and I can now clone this. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this um, cloned you know, thing and I'm going to bring it into my uh, environment in, in um, the Spring Tool Suite. So basically in the next video, we'll dive into uh, how we can get up and running with um, this cloned repository URL um, and actually import it into our project that we're gonna get started with uh, and then create entities and, and so on and so forth. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video.